Emerald Tablet 6 The Key of Magic Hark ye, O man, to the wisdom of magic. Hark to the knowledge of powers forgotten. Long, long ago, in the days of the first man, warfare began between darkness and light. Men, then as now, were filled with both darkness and light. And while in some darkness held sway, in others light filled the soul. I, age old is this warfare, the eternal struggle between darkness and light. Fiercely it is fought all through the ages, using strange powers hidden to man. Adepts have there been filled with the blackness, struggling always against the light. But others there are who, filled with brightness, have ever conquered the darkness of night. Where'er ye may be in all ages and plains, surely ye shall know of the battle with night. Long ages ago, the sons of the morning descended, found the world filled with night. There, in that past time, began the struggle, the age-old battle of darkness and light. Many in that time were so filled with darkness that only feebly flamed the light from the night. Some there were masters of darkness, who sought to fill all with their darkness, sought to draw others into their night. Fiercely withstood they the masters of brightness, fiercely fought they from the darkness of night, sought they ever to tighten the fetters and chains that bind man to the darkness of night. Used they always the dark magic, brought into man by the power of darkness, magic that enshrouded man's soul with darkness. Banded together, in as order, brothers of darkness, they through the ages, antagonists they to the children of men, walked they always secret and hidden, found yet not found by the children of men. For ever they walked and walked in darkness, hiding from the light in the darkness of night. Silently, secretly, used they their power, enslaving and binding the souls of men. Unseen they come, and unseen they go. Man, in his ignorance, ignorance calls them from below. Dark is the way, the dark brothers travel, dark with the darkness, not of the night. Travelling, O oh earth, they walk through man's dreams, power they have gained from the darkness around them to call other dwellers from out of their plane, in ways that are dark and unseen by man. Into man's mind space reach the dark brothers, around it they close the veil of their night. There, through its lifetime, that soul dwells in bondage, bound by the fetters of the veil of the night. Mighty are they in the forbidden knowledge, forbidden because it is one with the night. Hark ye, O man, and list to my warning. Be ye free from the bondage of night. Surrender not your soul to the brothers of darkness. Keep thy face ever turned toward the light. Know ye not, O man, that your sorrow only has come through the veil of the night? I, man, heed ye my warning, strive ever upward, turn your soul toward the light. The brothers of darkness seek for their brothers, those who have travelled the pathway of light. For well know they that those who have travelled far towards the sun on their pathway of light have great and yet greater power to bind with darkness the children of light. List ye, O man, to he who comes to you, but wait in the balance in his words of light. For many there are who walk in darkness and yet are not the children of light. 
Easy it is to follow their pathway, easy to follow the path that they lead. But yet, O oh man, heed ye my warning, light comes only to him who strives. Hard is the pathway that leads to wisdom, hard is the pathway that leads to the light. Many shall ye find the stones in your pathway, many the mountains to climb toward the light. Yet know ye, O oh man, to him that overcometh, free will he be of the pathway of light. Follow ye, not the dark brothers ever, always be a child of the light. For know ye, O oh man, in the end light must conquer, and darkness and night be banished from light. Listen, O oh man, and heed yet this wisdom, even as darkness, so, so is the light. When darkness is banished, and all veils are rended, out there shall flash from the darkness the light. Even as exist among men the dark brothers, so there exists the brothers of light. Antagonists they of the brothers of darkness, seeking to free men from the night. Powers have they, mighty and potent, knowing the law the planets obey. Work they ever in harmony and order, freeing the man-soul from its bondage of night. Secret and hidden walk they also, known not are they to the children of men. Yet know that ever they walk with thee, showing the way to the children of men. Ever have they fought the dark brothers, conquered and conquering time without end, yet always light shall be in the end the master, driving away the darkness of night. Ay, man, know ye this knowing, always beside thee walk the children of light. Masters they of the sun power, ever unseen, yet the guardians of men. Open to all is their pathway, open to he who will walk in the light. Free are they of dark amenti, free of the halls where life reigns supreme. Sons are they, and lords of the morning, children of light to shine among men. Like man are they, and yet unlike, never divided were they in the past. One have they been, in oneness eternal, throughout all space since the beginning of time. Up did they come in oneness with the All One, up from the first space formed and unformed. Given to man have they secrets that shall guard and protect him from all harm. He who would travel the path of a master, free must he be from the bondage of night. Conquer must he the formless and shapeless Conquer must he the phantom of fear, knowing must he gain of all of the secrets, travel the pathway that leads through the darkness, yet ever before him keep the light of his goal. Obstacles great shall he meet in the pathway, yet press on to the light of the sun. Hear ye, O man, the sun is the symbol of the light that shines at the end of thy road. Now to thee, I give the secrets, how to meet the dark power, meet and conquer the fear from the night. Only by knowing can ye conquer, only by knowing can ye have light. Now I give unto thee the knowledge, known to the masters, the knowing that conquers all the dark fears. Use this, the wisdom I give thee, masters thou shalt be, of the brothers of night. When unto thee there comes a feeling, drawing thee nearer to the dark gate, examine thine heart and find if the feeling thou hast come from within. If thou shalt find the darkness thine own thoughts, banish them forth from the place in thy mind. 
send through thy body a wave of vibration, irregular first and regular second, repeating time after time until free. Start the wave force in thy brain centre, direct it in waves from thine head to thy foot. But if thou findest thine heart is not darkened, be sure that a force is directed to thee. Only by knowing can thou overcome it, only by wisdom can thou hope to be free. Knowledge brings wisdom, and wisdom is power. Attain, and ye shall have power over all. Seek ye first a place bound with darkness, place ye a circle around about thee. Stand erect in the midst of the circle. Use thou this formula, and thou shalt be free. Raise thou thine hands to the dark space above thee. Close thou thine eyes, and draw in the light. Call to the spirit of light through the space-time, using these words, and thou shalt be free. Fill thou my body, O spirit of life, fill thou my body with spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness, from the halls where the seven lords rule. Name them by name, I, the seven, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine. By their names I call them to aid me, free me, and save me from the darkness of night. Untanus, Queteras, Chital, and Guyana, Hurtal, and Semvetar Ardal. By their names I implore thee, free me from darkness, and fill me with light. Know ye, O man, that when ye have done this, ye shall be free from the fetters that bind ye, cast off the bondage of the brothers of night. See ye not that the names have the power to free by vibration the fetters that bind. Use them at need to free thou thine brother, so that he too may come forth from the night. Thou, O man, art thy brother's helper. Let him not lie in the bondage of night. Now unto thee, I give my magic, take it and dwell on the pathway of light. Light unto thee, life unto thee, sun may thou be on the cycle above. Emerald Tablet 7 The Seven Lords Hark ye, O man, and list to my voice. Open thy mind and drink of my wisdom. Dark is the pathway of life that ye travel, many the pitfalls that lie in the way. Seek ye ever to gain greater wisdom, attain and it shall be light on thy way. Open thy soul, O man, to the cosmic, and let it flow in as one with thy soul. Light is eternal and darkness is fleeting. Seek ye ever O man, for the light. Know ye that ever as light fills thy being, darkness for thee shall soon disappear. Open thy soul to the brothers of brightness. Let them enter and fill thee with light. Lift up thine eyes to the light of the cosmos. Keep thou ever thy face to the goal. Only by gaining the light of all wisdom Art thou one with the infinite goal? Seek ye ever the oneness eternal. Seek ye ever the light of the goal. Light is infinite and light is finite, separate only by darkness in man. Seek ye to rend the veil of the darkness. Bring thou together the light into one. Hear ye, O man, list to my voice singing the song of light and of life. Throughout all space, light is prevalent, encompassing all with its banners of flame. Seek ye forever in the veil of the darkness, 
somewhere ye shall surely find light. Hidden and buried, lost to man's knowledge, deep in the finite the infinite exists, lost but existing, flowing through all things, living in all is the infinite brain. In all space there is only one wisdom, though seeming divided it is one in the one, all that exists comes forth from the light, and the light comes forth from the all. Everything created is based upon order. Law rules the space where the infinite dwells. Forth from equilibrium came the great cycles, moving in harmony towards infinity's end. Know ye, O man, that far in the space-time, Infinity itself shall pass into change. Hear ye, and list to the small voice of wisdom. Know that all is of all evermore. Know that through time you may pursue wisdom, and find evermore light on the way. Ay, thou shalt find thee ever receding. Thy goal shall elude thee from day unto day. Long time ago, in the halls of Amenti, I, Thoth, stood before the Lord of the Cycles. Mighty, they, in their aspects of power, mighty, they, in the wisdom unveiled. Led by the dweller, first did I see them, but afterwards free was I of their presence, free to enter their conclave at will. Oft did I journey down the dark pathway, unto the hall where the light ever glows. Learned I of the masters of cycles, wisdom bought from the cycles above us, knowledge bought from infinity's all. Many the questions I asked of the lords of the cycles, great was the wisdom they gave unto me. Now unto thee I give of this wisdom, drawn from the flame of infinity's fire. Deep in the dark halls sit the seven units of consciousness from cycles above. Manifest they in this cycle as guides of man to the knowledge of all. Seven are they, mighty in power, speaking these words through me to men. Time after time stood I before them, listening to words that came not with sound. Once said they unto me, O man, wouldst thou gain wisdom? Seek for it in the heart of the flame. Wouldst thou gain knowledge of power? Seek ye it in the heart of the flame. Wouldst be one with the heart of the flame? Seek then within thine own hidden flame. Many the times spoke they to me, teaching me wisdom, not of the world showing me ever new paths to brightness, teaching me wisdom bought from above, giving knowledge of operation, learning of law, the order of all. Spoke to me again the seven, saying, From bar, far beyond time are we come, O man, travelled we from beyond the space-time, I, from the place of infinity's end, when ye and all of thy brethren were formless, formed forth were we from the order of all. Not as men are we, though once we too were as men. Out of the great void were we formed forth in order and by law. For know ye that that which is formed truly is formless, having form only to thine eyes. And once again unto me spoke the seven, saying, Child of the light, O Thoth, art thou free to travel the bright path upward until at last all ones become one? Fourth, we were formed after our order, three, four, five and six, seven, eight, nine. Know ye, that these are the number of cycles that we have descended from unto man. 
each having here a duty to fulfil, each having here a force to control. Yet are we one with the soul of our cycle, yet are we, too, seeking a goal. Far beyond man's conception, infinity extends into a greater than all. There, in a time that is not a time, we shall all become one with a greater than all. Time and space are moving in circles. Know ye their law, and ye too shall be free. Aye, free shall ye be to move through the cycles, past the guardians that dwell at the door. Then spoke to me he of nine, saying, Eons and eons have I existed, knowing not life, and tasting not death. For know ye, O man, that far in the future life and death shall be one with the all, each so perfected by balancing the other that neither exists in the oneness of all. In men of this cycle the life force is rampant, but life in its growth becomes one with the all. Here I manifest in this your cycle but yet I am there in your future of time. Yet to me time exists not, for in my world time exists not, for formless are we. Life have we, not, but yet have existence, fuller and greater and freer than thee. Man is a flame bound to a mountain, but we in our cycle shall ever be free. Know ye, O man, that when ye have progressed into the cycles that lengthen above, life itself will pass to the darkness, and only the essence of soul shall remain. Then to me spoke the Lord of the Eight, saying, All that ye know is but part of little. Not as yet have ye touched on the great. Far out in space, where light reigned supreme, came I into the light. Formed was I, but also not as ye are. Body of light was my formless form formed. Know I not life, and know I not death, yet master am I of all that exists. Seek ye to find the path through the barriers, travel the road that leads to the light spoke again to me the nine, saying, Seek ye to find the path to beyond. Not impossible is it to grow to a consciousness above, for when two have become one, and one has become the all, know ye the barrier has lifted, and ye are made free of the road. Grow thou from form to the formless, free may thou be, of the road. Thus through ages I listened, learning the way to the all. Now lift I my thoughts to the all thing. List ye and hear when it calls. O light, all pervading, one with all and all with one, flow thou to me through the channel, enter thou so that I may be free. Make me one with the all-soul, shining from the blackness of night. Free let me be of all space-time, free from the veil of the night. I, a child of the light, command, free from the darkness to be. Formless am I to the light-soul, formless let shining with light. Know I the bonds of the darkness must shatter and fall before light. Now give I this wisdom, free may ye be, O man. Living in light and in brightness, turn not thy face from the light. Thy soul dwells in realms of brightness, ye are a child of the light. Turn thy thoughts inward, not outward. Find thou the light soul within. Know that thou art the master, all else is bought from within.
Grow thou to realms of brightness, hold thou thy thought on the light. Know thou art one with the cosmos, a flame and a child of the light. Now to thee I give warning, let not thy thought turn away. Know that the brightness flows through thy body for I. Turn not to the dark brightness that comes from the bro brothers of black. But keep thine eyes ever lifted, thy soul in tune with the light. Take ye this wisdom and heed it. List to my voice and obey. Follow the pathway to the brightness and thou shalt be one with the way.